This is the six foot, 72 inch uh, Bush Hog brand. See, it says Bush Hog back here. Bush Hog brand, three blade uh, rear cutter. And this is on the uh, Ford 3910 tractor. It's a 50 horsepower diesel. Really makes a good cutting rig. Uh, but today we want to talk about these pulleys. Uh, this machine is set out, this, this cutter is set out in the uh, weather for a couple of years or more. And of course uh, the pulleys are not made for that. So if you get one of these machines, try to keep it inside if you can. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about on these pulleys here. And we'll try to show you how to take them off. Now, I've already taken out the, uh, the four mounting bolts for this center section here. Let me raise this up so you can see the, uh, there's the cut, there's the gearbox right there. Uh, the sun's kind of bad right now, but uh, there's the uh, angle gearbox, 90 degree angle gearbox. And you can't get to these pulleys with it mounted, so there are four big bolts here. If you got a wrench like this, they come out real easy. Uh, and of course the bolts just drop down. Here's the mounting holes here. When you take them out, they'll drop down underneath the uh, machine. I'll use the hydraulics to lift that up to get those bolts out of there. I want to get ready to get it back together. What I'm doing today <coughs> is taking off some of these pulleys and so I can order some more. Now this pulley, thank goodness, is a cast iron so it doesn't rust as bad. Surface rust is about all you're going to get on that. These pulleys are rusted through right here. Uh, the edges are rusted. This one's down here at the bottom has got a rust hole all the way through the, the running surface on the bottom down here. Uh, this one got a lot of rust on that surface where the belt will run, so we're going to try to pull that one off, or at least get the nut off. I had loosened it up already with this uh, impact. All I did was use the impact on it. Let's see if there's a keyway. Yeah, there's a keyway on here, so I can measure that distance and the shaft distance with a keyway and probably order those off of uh, Amazon or, or uh, or eBay or I'll check with the dealer and see what kind of price they give me on them. Probably be two or three times the cost. Probably tearing up a good socket there. It's just a regular hand socket. It's not made for this. So th this is good. I think both of these pulleys are going to be the same. I didn't bring my uh, measuring tape with me, but we'll measure them and uh, get the inside diameter. It's a pulley with a bearing. Outside diameter, it's a flat run. I believe this one's going to be the same. So that's what we're doing today. We're taking this down so we can order these. I might have to use a puller. I don't use pullers very much on these. I, I've got one and I can use them. A lot of times I'll just put the nut back on them and tap around them and sometimes they'll, with a little leverage under here, sometimes they'll pop right up. So that's what we're working on today. Just wanted to show you uh, what you get into where you got to pull this, uh, the angle gearbox out, up. It's really not difficult to do on this one. There's just these three bolts holding it down. And then there's one other little bolt right here. It's a 9 16 that you take it off. Uh, this is just kind of like a spacer center support type uh, bolt. I don't see where it does a whole lot. Uh, but it, it, it needs to be there. Okay, thanks for watching YouTube. Hope this video helps somebody with the, uh, this type of cutter. A lot of other brands are probably going to be similar or the same. And uh, like and subscribe if you will. 
and uh, give me some comments if you have other brands of cutters that actually have exactly the same setup. Let me get the uh, numbers for you on this one if I can. Uh, it's an RD TH72 Bush Hog brand. Thanks for watching. Help this. Uh, hope this video helps somebody.